Hi guys and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn, Leopardor Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today I'm going to talk about the importance of alignment. Let's talk about alignment because poor alignment can cause all these different compensations and not allow you to actually make the best swings, even no matter what you're working on in your technique. So let's fix it. If this is your first time here on my channel, I'm super excited to have you. Welcome to Coach Carolyn Golf here on YouTube. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you love this video. And I cannot wait to jump right into it with you guys. Alignment is likely the most overlooked and most rushed through aspect of everybody's golf swing. So many of my students, and I love you guys dearly, but nobody wants to take the time to actually align and set up correctly. Everybody just wants to get it to swing in the golf club. And, and that really puts you behind the eight ball. It does not allow you to hit the best possible shot because you were set up wrong, you aimed wrong, your body knows it. You probably don't know it because you didn't care about it in the first place, but your body is going to compensate for it. So you're going to keep having these bad technical things creep into your swing and have your habits never fully go away because you never allow them to because you keep putting your body in the same spot. So if there's one thing you take away from this video is do not rush through your alignment. It is key to your improvement and key to your swing changes. And if you do not pay attention to it, and yes, it may be so boring to you because it's not part of actually hammering the golf ball, um, but it is so, so key. So do not overlook it. Um, it's really just going to set yourself up for success or for failure, depending on how much of an importance you place on it. But I will promise you this, not one tour player is aligned wrong. Not one. They align differently when they hit different shots. If they want to hit a draw, if they want to hit a fade, if they want to shape it around a tree, if they want to hit higher, lower, you name it, right? But tour players always know where they're aiming and that they're aiming there. Because obviously they have their caddies. You're going to say, oh, you know, everybody always checks everything with the tour players. It's about your eyes. Your eyes have to learn what good alignment looks like. And that actually isn't permanent, right? So when I do not go out in the course and when I don't play a lot, I actually unlearn and your eyes unlearn what good alignment looks like. So if you don't play for a couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever, right? Even a couple of days, depending on, you know, the frequency of your usual golf schedule, um, your eyes are going to unlearn it. So you're going to have to focus on it every single time. And it just it's one of those things that creeps back into it. I'm going to explain to you why. Why it matters, what it does, and what compensations you can expect when you're not watching your alignment correctly. So, um, actually, my mom. Love her to death. She's a great golfer. She is probably like a handicap 10 now. And for years, I've been telling her, you are aiming 50 yards right of your target. And she's a drawer. So that's, you know, she's in the right area, but she's too far right. And the fact that she's aiming so far right has really caused her face to be super shut because her body knows the face has to be shut. So the ball somehow curves back into the fairway. You wouldn't believe the stuff that your brain knows without you telling it because the objective is clear. Again, you, you, the only reason why you're out here on this tee box or on the golf course or on the range is to hit the ball in the fairway or in the hole or on the green, right? Your body knows this, so it's going to do its very best to get there, no matter what position you're putting itself in. And literally, if you were to turn your back on the target and you told, you tried to swing, your body would still try to do this, right? Because it knows it has to go there. Is this a good golf swing? Obviously not. But your body isn't going to just be like, yeah, I would like to go into the fairway, which is behind me, but I'm going to hit it there. Your body is always going to try to come and hit it where you want to hit it. But why would you make it harder on yourself? So if you're aiming dead right, your body is going to likely change its grip. And you unknowingly are just going to slowly change your grip to a stronger grip, which shuts the face. Because if you're, if you're aiming right, your body is aiming right, your shoulders are shut. And now what happens you have to do, you're going to come more from the inside your body is set up that way and you're going to swing more to the outside and by actually shutting your face to your path you're going to be able to put some top spin and draw spin on it so it's going to come hooking back and the same thing applies if you do for left for you know a kind of an over the top swing and the more people come over the top the more they want to aim left and the more they want to not go to the right side because they hate the right side because they always hit it there and that's their miss because they have so much right spin so the more left you aim the more right you're going to go and that is a hard concept for people to grasp. So if you, whatever side you do not want to go to, you want to aim there because your body is going to try to compensate for it the other way. Try it. Seriously. I'm dead serious. Golf is a game of opposites. This is how it works. This is what will happen. So 
if you're aiming too far left because you're over the top, um, then your body is going to do its very best to hold the face open. And that's what creates that difference in your path and in your face for you to actually have spin on the ball and it go left to right. So that's why aim matters as much as it does. And if you are now, so, you know, for example, my mom, again, she used to aim super right and she has a shut face and then she comes from the inside and puts draw spin on it or hook spin in this case, cause it's just so much. When I aim her straight and I align her correctly, guess what happens? First couple of shots, she hits a dead left and then she's like, oh, this cannot be right. This can't be true. Uh, I need to be aiming right. But give yourself at least 20 balls for your body to adjust. Because think about it, your body decided to slowly fix your own path, fix your face, fix all this stuff for you so you can somehow find the fairway. So if you're aligning it correctly, initially it's going to be like, oh, wait, now it's left. Now I need to stop doing that. And then you hit another one. It's like, okay, let's do a little bit less of this. Okay, maybe a little bit less of this. And that's how you allow your body to function normally and to stop compensating. A lot of people walk into the ball like this. They put their feet down and then they put their club behind the ball. And then they're like, hmm, I'm not really into the target, so I'm just going to change my face. But the headaches, so you didn't change your aim, you still aimed wrong. So make sure you do not set up as a first thing. You put your club face down, you aim it at your target or at an intermediate target. And do not take your stance. Don't take your stance. Then take your stance the second bit, make sure it's parallel to where you're aiming, and then you can go ahead and hit your shot because you know you've done it correctly. For the shot that where I was aiming. So make sure you make this your new routine when you aim so you allow your body to actually function and hit the ball towards your target in the most efficient way and without all these conversations. I hope you love this video as much as I do. This was super fun. I always love to kind of debunk these very typical things that everybody does. Um, and it's so important for your golf swing. So leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you loved it. And I cannot wait to hear from you guys and see you guys in my next session.